Hello, welcome back to IT Security Labs. And today I just want to talk about my progress on TryHackMe and how I use this platform. This is just me being transparent with you and sharing with you some things that I'm learning and also how I'm actually approaching my learning journey. The goal here is to hopefully inspire some people and also show you how I have used TryHackMe and other platforms to build on my own technical skills. So first, I actually have a paid TryHackMe account. So that means that I'm a premium member and I have access to all the resources here. I just found out that paying actually allows me to finish things that I start. So I'm going to show you around in my profile so you can see what I've been doing. Okay, so coming back here, uh, I like this skills matrix. It has been in beta for a while now. It, just, it tells me where I've spent most of my time on this platform. And you can see that I've completed the fundamentals. So this is things that are just basics. I completed a bunch of rooms just to make sure that I cover the fundamentals of cybersecurity and everything. So the fundamentals are where I started. And I encourage anyone who is new on Triac Me here to also spend some time on the fundamentals. And then next I have Linux. I don't I don't actually know how Linux went that far and also network exploitation, but that's where I've done most of my stuff. Web exploitation is kind of struggling a little bit and Windows exploitation is struggling. I've done a lot of Windows outside of TriAcme, but this shows me that in here I have not prioritized it. Same as privilege escalation. But web exploitation is what I'm trying to fix right now because I need to get better at this web stuff, especially the different techniques that people have like stealing cookies using cross-site scripting. I actually have been building on that. It's actually fun. And you will notice that right now I'm 72% in the web fundamentals path. A lot of revision and knowing what I'm doing, but that's what I have for now. So using this matrix here, you can also tell that I've been in here for 39 days. This is just a continuous continuation from the advent of cyber. I'm not sure how long I can have this trick going, maybe up to 100 days, maybe it dies tomorrow. I'm not tying myself to continuing this, but right now I'm learning the web fundamentals. So what I like to do is spend 15 minutes every day, just refresh on a skill or maybe 30 minutes a day, depending on how complicated the room is. So it's a very slow progress. So like I just come in here and I learn something nonchalant, non not a big deal. I'm not like overemphasizing anything. So because of that, I'm trying to go with the web path for now. If I go back to the learn, I will kind of show you some of the learning paths. So I thought I had almost completed the red teaming path, but the, it looks like they added more content here. So when TriAcme adds more content, you kind of have to go and complete it so that it still shows as 100%. So I need to come back in the red team uh, room here. This path is amazing, especially for those who are in red teaming. If you just want to know the basics of red teaming this one has it covered then uh junior pen test i didn't even try i uh, just co covered 40 percent by being in here uh cyber defense same way i didn't try any of these rooms here but offensive security offensive pen testing when i went for the oscp i made sure to come in here and complete the offensive room amazing like it will take you from beginner to actually knowing how to find your own vulnerabilities in even write, writing exploits this is a good good one here then are uh, the web fundamentals that's why where i am right now but um introduction to cyber security and pre-security i just did those that's where i got the fundamentals i'm hoping to be doing the attacking and defending aws i'll probably pay out of pocket sometime this year hopefully in august or so after defcon or something like that then we have the complete beginner here um, I like the security engineer one. I think I pursued this one at some point. So I will most likely be finishing. So from all these like partially done parts, you can see that I've spent some time in try me without even realizing it. So I'm in here two, three times a week uh, when I'm not trying to keep a streak, but nothing too serious. I actually use try me and hack the box nowadays, especially with the guided mode in hack the box. I use Hack the Box exclusively to make sure that I get my CISSP continued education points. So because of that, I'm not actually 100% dedicated to try Hack Me. 
So that's what my triacme looks like. I think here they say like I'm in the one well, top one percent, but my rank is seven eight. There was a time when I was chasing this rank. I wanted to make sure that I study and I'm competitive, so I wanted to rank higher. That means that I had motivation to come in here and try to rank. But at this point, I'm hoping, hopefully, I'll be in the single digits if I just keep learning, if I don't run out of the content to learn. Otherwise, this is a low energy, no pressure kind of learning environment for me. Every time I find myself weak at something, I come in here and I just practice. And I'm excited to be going through the burp suite rooms here because I finally got a burp suite professional license. I'm hoping to learn about the plugins and hopefully this formal training will help me with that. And that's just a quick video of me showing you how I use TriHackMe. If you have any other questions or if you want me to show you how I use my Hack the Box or any other platforms, please let me know in the comments. Otherwise, this was a different format, just sharing my study skills with you. And hopefully you can share with me in the comments what your tactics are. Thanks for being here and I hope to see you next time.